y'all it's your girl Jan. welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel i personally welcome you so if you haven't seen it in my last video i just want to repeat it here again that i will be gone for the rest of january this is one of my last videos that i'm going to be posting because i am wrapping up my semester and i need all my brain cells because y'all it is a lot of work and i just don't feel i can balance you know recording editing and also doing my schoolwork. So I just chose to, you know, put that aside for a second and, you know, put in my two week holiday. So in the meantime, if you're a student who wants to study at HSRW, then I would advise you to watch my study in Germany playlist. Or if you're not, then you can also watch my other videos. Or if you are both, then you can watch all of my videos. But with that being said, I would like to get straight into the real reason why you're here, which is how to use the library at HSRW. All right, y'all, so I got my notes again with me today in a different form. But anyways, um, we're gonna get straight into it. I want you guys to know that when you come to campus, they are gonna give you a tour again of the library and tell you all the stuff that you need to know about it. But this is just Lil Remy J starter pack, okay? Since a lot of you are watching, I was like, why not give you guys a little bit, a little bit of tea, a little bit of hint, on how to use the library so first thing that we're gonna start with is the opening hours so be mindful that there are different hours for the lecture period time and for the lecture free period so when there's holiday it's different times and when there are lectures there are different times but again the link will be in my description so you can check that out every you know semester whatever the case may be next oh yeah next I think this is important when you come to the library, you know, you can use a lot of empty rooms that are there, but you can also use a lot of group rooms. And normally you do not have to book a group room, but it is advised to book one just to be on the safer side that the room is booked. Because once the room is booked, then you have priority over it. So if somebody is in a room that you booked, then they would have to get out. So if you're interested in getting a study group room, then I would advise you to book it. And right now I'm going to show you guys how to do this. All right, so you will go to Google and just type in library HSRW. You can select the first result and it will take you to this page where you can see information on the opening hours in Cleva as well as in Cumberland But then we'll go further to the quick links and you will select workplaces. And then workplaces, you have some information here on individual workplaces, group study rooms, and also individual study rooms and carols. So if you wanna see more information about that, I will leave the link in my description. And you can also see here, for the quick link, the last point is application for individual study rooms and carols, which you can fill out and give to the library. For this example though, we're gonna look on how to book rooms in Cleve, but you can see you can also book for Cumberland Ford. Then it takes you to this page where you should probably also read information before booking, but then you scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and then you will see this list here with the times, the date, and the availability of the rooms. So for instance, the first, example um the 9th of january say you wanted to get a room on the 9th of january but it's fully booked you have the opportunity to click on vata list which means waiting list and you would just put in your email right here so once someone cancels and the room is free you will get an email that is free and be able to book the room and but if you want to book a room that is free let's see okay let's just say here the 12th of january from 9 to 12 or from 12 to 3 whichever one you prefer you can also just click book and then here you have the information again like from 9 to 12 which room and then you just go down here have to fill out the required information and then you go continue on with your booking and at the end of it i believe you will get a barcode which um, states your the information of your booking so like the room the time and when you go to the library you can either just go to the room um, if it's locked then you just let the li library staff know or if you want you can show your barcode before you go just so they know that you're here whatever the case may be but this is the easiest way to book your room okay as y'all seen it I walked you guys through the process and I would really 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 advise you to go through the page and read the information again because it will save you a lot of time of having to ask them a question i mean if you really don't know then of course you can ask but there's a lot of information provided on the website already that if you read it you can just go to the library and be a g <laughs> okay so 
Next, I would like to talk about, yeah, so there are computers in the library which you can use to search a book you're looking for. I think there's like one in, on every floor, it's just there. It's already signed into the library uh, website where you can just search a book you're looking for. And at this point, I also want to show you right now how to look and search for a book in the catalog plus HSRW. If you're looking for a book at the library, you can go to catalog plus HSRW. You can select the first result. There you go down all the way to the quick links that says Catalog Plus Zuhu, which is the first one to search. And this is the page it will take you to. When you're at home, this is the process you would have to go to get to this page. But if you're at the library, all the computers are already signed on for you to search um, the book that you're looking for. So when you come into the library, you see certain computers that are just there. Um, so you're able to search for the book you're looking for. So Let's just type in gender and diversity. I'm just going to search it. And here you will see different types of books and it would tell you if it's a electronic resource, if it's hard print, if it's available for loan or not. So let's just take this one right here. So you can see it says available for loan and underneath is the signature. This signature is what you're going to use to find your book. And after this, I'm going to place a picture on the screen to explain how exactly you can find it because every alphabet or certain alphabets are on different floors of the library from the second floor to the fifth floor i mean to the sixth floor so for this one now o o o k x 21 plus 2 or let's see another one o o q a f 22 plus 3 as a matter of fact let me highlight it in case you don't see what i'm saying so this right here this is what you're always looking for when you're searching for a book in the library and like i said i will show you guys now how to look for this exactly and on what floor to find it on when you go to the library okay so that is how you search for a book pretty easy pretty simple and like i said i'm gonna slap a picture here of the alphabetical list that is there you can see this in the library in the elevator you can see it on the doors on every floor so if you're looking for a book you can already know like you know like i'm going on second floor so if you're coming from home you already know like zero zero uh gqx then when you're in the library like i said there's this list this list that you see right here there's this list where you can already know what floor you need to go on and when you go on that floor there's also again different um the bookshelves and they also again have like the alphabets on it so you can see in which row you need to go so i think with that being said makes it a little bit more understandable on how to find a book because it is not always easy but with this remember this the book that you're looking for is important so the name the signature is the most important for the library and you can find this list of alphabets in the library but also on the door on each floor and this will help you find the book that you're looking for so maybe if you take a screenshot before you come or whatever the case is but remember that signature okay another thing is when you're in the library and you are using books whatever the case may be then you should put the book so when you go inside the library every floor has like this little cart thing where you can put a books where you where you can put the books after you're done using them because for the staff members it makes it easier for them to put the books back in order than if students just take a book and just slap it anywhere you know they are close to so that makes it even harder and gives them more work to put the book away it's either in the front by the door or like in the back of the room so just be mindful of that because it will help a lot also when you're trying to return your book you can do this on the fifth floor so on the fifth floor there's like a little terminal you put the book there it's like a um return book terminal thing you put the book on there you scan it i mean you sign in with your library details you scan it and then you press get the little receipt then you get like a little thing that shows proof that you brought the book back and then after that you can just put it on the side of the box that is there okay so that's all you have to do normally on the outside of the library so on the if you're going this way well that was a good description if you're going this way it's either from whatever side you're coming from is either on the left or right but there's a place where you can also return the books from outside where you can just put the book in so just be mind just just be on the lookout one important thing is that the books you can borrow them for at least i think it's two is either two or four weeks and then you have to return them if you're not ready to return them then you have the 
possibility to extend the book on your um, library account which again like I said they're going to show you how to sign in and all that but on there you can extend the book again if nobody else requested for the book but the thing to keep in mind is that if you don't return the book when you're supposed to then you have to pay late fees look I used to be the queen of late fees up to 50 euros I am not kidding you can ask people who knew I was always late and the funny thing is I wasn't even really using the book so please don't do that if you know you're done with the book you're not using it just return it so you don't have to waste unnecessary money like I did but yeah and um, again there's a link that I'm going to leave where you can see the fees that you have to pay and how they double themselves if you do not return a book so one I think one week is two euro then another week that you don't return it is four euro and it just keeps going but like I said I'll leave the link make sure to go check it out and if you do have a late fee and you want to pay this can be done only in the service time so the service time again like i said keep in mind the times when the library is open because there are two different times i think service time is like from 9 to 2 or 9 to 3 p.m and this is when like the library staffs are there to you know help you i mean like take the money you know you can pay your late fee you can request the library card and so on and so forth so just keep that in mind as well so saturdays no service time you can't pay no late fees you can't request no library card or get or come pick up your library card a lot of people come try to pick it up but you can only do that in the service time as well so keep that in mind when you want to get a printing card um that is on the second floor inside this room it's like a glass room door and there's like a machine where you can get uh, your printing card and you have to at least put five euro on it for it to come out but the instructions are also again on top of the machine so you can just easily follow it and get your printing card and like i just said if you want your library card you can also do that on the second floor and just request it it's a paper you have to fill out and i think you can come get it in the next two to three days and bam you got your library card and then also for people who are not uh, students of HSRW, it is also possible to use the library, but you there's this form you have to fill out, which is like a guest, a guest form, something like that. So if you're a guest, you just fill it out and you get like a guest library card and then you can also borrow books or whatever the case may be. So let me just see if I went through everything. Yeah, so that was basically the basics Remy J starter pack on how to use the library on what to keep in mind oh on the ground floor there's also a water dispenser so if you want to fill your water bottle up there is water and there's bathroom on every floor so i don't know i just felt the need to say that because there's a lot of people who do ask like is there a bathroom thank you guys for watching this video i hope it was helpful i hope you will know how to use the library a little bit more so at least when you go in, you don't feel like you're a newbie you know you can just you know slide through and play it all off like <laughs> Remy J started pet kicking <laughs> but yeah anyways um you guys enjoy the rest of your month like I said I will see you next month and yeah stay tuned